I'm going to show you how to do the rollover, which is one of my favourite exercises because it's brilliant for strengthening and getting flexibility in your back and spine and also for strengthening your abdominals. If you have a particular lower back problem, you must be very careful with this one. You're never pushing off, you're just getting nice, slow, controlled flexibility. And if you want to, then just do the early adaptations rather than the full one. But if you get any kind of discomfort, you must stop. This is quite an advanced exercise, but once you can do it, it's absolutely brilliant. So we're going to come to lying on our mats. For this exercise, you're not going to have a head cushion, so any head cushions just put to one side. So I'm going to demonstrate the full one, and then I'm going to show you different um, variations depending on your position of your arms and the position of your legs. So I'm going to start with a sort of general roll over. So come into a double knee fold and then you extend your legs up and have your heels reaching a little bit towards the ceiling. I'm going to start with my arms by my side. Now it's very easy with your arms by your side to push off but you're not going to do that. They're just staying here without any work happening through the arms. So you reach your heels towards the ceiling and you take your legs over your body you're never coming onto your neck, they're just your shoulders. So the first few times, just keep your legs parallel to the floor. And then you come down using all your abdominals, keeping your shoulders as relaxed as possible, trying not to lift your head or your neck, and you just come back to your legs above the hips. So I'll show you that again. So have that sense of reaching your heels up towards the ceiling and rolling your spine and your legs coming over to being parallel to the floor. You're never coming onto your neck. So once you start to stretch this back here a bit more and also stretch the back of your legs, you find you can get your toes down, but only if it means that you're staying off your neck and it's only after you've lengthened through the back and the legs. And then you come down with one vertebra at a time, working through your abdominals until you come back to your starting position. So you can also have your legs hip width apart it's slightly easier, so you come up and over, and then you come back down, one vertebra at a time. So breathe in to reach your heels up to the ceiling, breathing out, bringing your legs over, staying here, take a breath in, and breathing out to come back to your starting position. Okay, I'm going to just drop my knees towards my chest. So if you can do that, then absolutely fine, carry on with that. And I'll later on I'll show you some different arm positions. But if you find that a little bit difficult to begin with, obviously once everything strengthens up, you'll be able to come to that. Come with your legs up and your ankles crossed and your knees bent. And as you draw your knees towards your chest, as you roll your spine over, and then stay here, so my knees are quite low, and then I come down one vertebra at a time keeping my knees bent. So I'll do that again. So you draw your knees in towards your chest. You're taking your lower back off, working all the way up to your shoulder blades. Keep your knees bent and quite low and come back down to your starting position. If you want to take that to the next level, start like this. And then you can uncross your legs because coming back down works your abdominals just as much as going back over. So you start with your, your legs crossed, knees towards your chest, you roll yourself over, and this gives you such a lovely back stretch. So if you find you can't do the, the more advanced level, then this is a really good compromise because you're getting this lovely opening out of the lower back as long as you're not getting any pain whatsoever and then coming back to your starting position. And even if you means you just can't, you just take your lower back off that much and you can't go all the way over, then that's absolutely fine. It's a good starting position and then you just come back down. So you just take your lower back off a touch and then just control coming back down to this starting position. So that is your basic rollover and now I'll show you some different adaptations and variations. So the arm position, I had my arms here but you can also have your arms above your head. And then again, you reach your heels through the ceiling and you take your legs up and over. And then you come down, keeping your arms behind you 
lengthening your spine back onto the mat to your legs above your hips. I'll do that again. Reach through the heels so you can't use your arms at all now, even if you were tempted beforehand. And also another nice thing is you can actually hold on to your toes here. Flex your feet and get a really nice stretch with the back of your legs through your back and then come down one vertebra at a time. If you find you can do that, then the le you can also take your legs down to the floor as long as you don't arch your back. Okay, so if you want to start from this position, so this is a bit more of an advanced level now, so make sure that as you bring your legs up, you're really working from this core, so trying not to arch your back, you lift your legs up, try not to create momentum, and you take your legs over your body, get a nice stretch here, and then come down one vertebra at a time. So you can either stop with your legs above your hips or you can take your legs down to the floor but don't arch your back, work from your core. So I'll do that once more. So take a breath in, bring your legs up, breathe out, bring your legs over your body. Breathe in here and then come out of your rollover. Either your legs just above the hips or all the way down to the floor. So that's a more advanced arm position with your arms above your head and a more advanced leg position where you take your legs to the floor rather than just above the hips. And then another variation, again you can start with your legs, uh, start coming to a double knee fold and bring your legs up and then you have your arms above your chest and you bring your legs over your body keeping your arms up here and then you come down to your legs either here or again the advanced leg position taking the legs down so using your core to bring the legs up and over your body keeping your arms here take a breath in and then breathe out come back down one vertebra at a time i'll do it once more so breathing in and breathing out. Stay here, take a breath in and then come back down one vertebra at a time and lowering your legs as long as you're not arching your back. So you're really working really strongly from this lower abdominal muscle. So those are different variations you can do. Remember, the idea is to just gently get flexibility in your spine. So there's no point in pushing off. But you're just going to create tension in your lower back and you won't actually achieve any strengthening in your abdominals. So just try all those different levels and find the one you can do. Keep practicing and you'll find that very shortly you'll get a lot stronger and it feels great. Thank you. Mm -hmm.